Welcome to Lynch's Pharmacy Film Studios. This video is about erythromycin tablets in suspension. Erythromycin is a macroloid antibiotic. It can be taken by people who are allergic to penicillin. So what's erythromycin used for? It's prescribed to treat acute bacterial infections such as respiratory infections, urine infections, skin infections, and mouth infections. It can be taken by adults and children. It works by killing the bacteria causing the infection. It is also prescribed for some longer term skin conditions such as acne and rosacea. So how to take erythromycin? You take erythromycin exactly as your doctor tells you to take it. It is usually prescribed four times daily. Although one or two doses daily may be sufficient for some conditions, your doctor or pharmacist will tell you which dose is right for you or your child. Your dose will also be on the label of the pack to remind you. Space the doses out evenly during the day. You swallow the erythromycin tablets or capsules whole with a drink of water. You do not chew them. You may take erythromycin before or after food. When erythromycin is prescribed for a child, the dose depends on the child's weight. Make sure you read the label carefully so that you measure out the correct amount of medicine. Even if you feel your infection has cleared up, keep taking this antibiotic until the course is finished, unless otherwise the doctor tells you otherwise. This is to prevent the infection from coming back. A course of treatment for an acute infection often lasts around 5 to 14 days. It may last longer than this if you are taking erythromycin for chronic prostitutes, acne or rosacea. In these cases, it is quite normal for your treatment to continue for several weeks or months. If you still feel unwell after finishing your course of treatment, Make another appointment to see your doctor for further advice. If you forget to take a dose, take one as soon as you remember. Try to take the correct number of doses each day, but do not take two doses at the same time in order to make up for a missed dose earlier in the day. So in order to get the most from your treatment, if you buy any medicines from a pharmacy, check with a pharmacist that they are safe to take with erythromycin. If you regularly take an indigestion remedy, make sure your doctor knows about this, as some brands of erythromycin should not be taken at the same time as antacids. Check the label on the pack of erythromycin for more information about this. Some people develop thrush, which is redness, and itchiness in the mouth or vagina after taking a course of antibiotics. If this happens to you, speak with your doctor or pharmacist for advice. If you are using combined oral hormonal contraception or the pill, additional contraceptive precautions such as condoms are not required during a course of this antibiotic unless you are sick or have diarrhea. If you need further advice about this, speak with your doctor or pharmacist. This antibiotic may stop the oral typhoid vaccine from working. If you are having any, having any vaccinations, make sure to tell the person treating you, you know that you are taking this medicine. So how to store this medicine properly? First of all, keep all medicines out of reach and out of sight of children. You store the medicine in a cool, dry place, away from direct heat and sunlight. If you've been given the liquid medicine for children, it will have been made up in the pharmacy and it lasts for a limited number of days. Check the expiry date on the bottle and do not use it after this date. Keep it in the fridge and shake it well before you use it. The main side effects of erythromycin would be upset stomach and mild skin rash. It can be taken while pregnant. 
and only small amounts in breast milk and it's not known to be harmful if you're breastfeeding. Again, check with your doctor. There is some interactions with erythromycin, a caution with concomitant use of drugs that prolong the QT interval. So you need to talk to your doctor if you're on other medicine, talk to the doctor or pharmacist. Also in renal impairment. Again, if you have renal impairment, you need to discuss the dosage with your doctor. Um, for children especially, with severe renal impairment. If you have any other questions, you can contact me through the live pharmacist on the website, or you can email me through the website, or ring or call into the pharmacy in Broaddale and Douglas. Thank you.